I have seen something that I cannot get out of my head. This Kylie Jenner look for her new smoky eyeshadow palette. Said palette that I have recently received. I've already got it so dirty because I've actually been using it a lot. It's so gorgeous. All the cool tones, all the grungy, smoky, silvery. Obviously, I'm kind of feeling the silver vibes at the moment. Um, I've also got some other new products to try. I actually went makeup shopping the other day for the first time in a while, actually. I'm rarely, like, near a Sephora or actually go... IRL makeup shop. I just way prefer it to makeup shopping online. I can actually see brands. There was loads of new brands in Sephora that I didn't even know were in there. So yeah, I picked up quite a few new bits. I'm gonna do my makeup today using them and using that palette. So let's get into it. You know what, let's do the eyes first today. I usually do it the other way around. So I'm gonna take a little bit of one size concealer. This is one of the new products I was talking about. I will talk a little bit more about this when I use it on my face, but I'm gonna use that as a base for my eyeshadow. This concealer is literally gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. I also feel like this makeup look is very like early Kardashian makeup. I used to love Kim Kardashian's like OG smoky eye makeup look. Sorry, I feel like I've just not got my voice back from Ibiza last week. I'm just still croaky. This was also a bite that I got in Ibiza and it's gone all like weird, so. I'm gonna bring a little bit along the underneath just because I am gonna be smoking it out a little. And I don't want any like skin gaps. That's the only thing I don't like about doing my eyes first is I always feel like my base products are not like everywhere. You know, that's really one of those concealers that like sets itself. I don't think I even really need to set that. I'm gonna start with the lightest shade in the palette. This is Mist. And I'm just gonna use that to kind of set the lid and just give me a place to start. So she's got real dark wing at the end kind of cat eye in the center and then the middle is quite empty. So I'm thinking I might put the shimmer in the middle or do I just stick with the matte? Cause this is actually so, so pretty. I do think this is one of those things that looks so amazing on brown eyes. So I'm hoping it's gonna translate and look as sexy and sultry as it does on her. She's got the best like eye shape, eyelid, all of it. For my transition shade, I'm gonna use this second one. This is Muse. It's actually one of the warmer shades in the palette, so it is still on the cool side, slightly warmer than the rest. And I'm just gonna start bringing that into the crease, just to create a little bit of shape through there. Really softly winging it out. Obviously we're gonna add that black sharp wing. The wing that she has is so sharp, so I think it is good that I'm doing my eyes first because then I can really and it kind of looks to me like she's got some dark shade going on in that inner corner. And I think that's what really accentuates that roundness. See, as soon as you put that there, it kind of just changes the shape of your eye. And then I'm actually just gonna take my finger with that first shade and like relighten that center. I always forget I've got to do the other eye. But I'm gonna start that now because if I do that whole side, it's gonna feel an absolute mission to do the other one. So let's do it in stages. I feel like I've already got so many looks out of this palette. I've taken it away with me a few times and I've actually used it so much. Now I'm gonna go straight in with the black shadow. I've got two little mini brushes here. These are both Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes brushes, two of my favorite little mini blending brushes. You can create every, every liner in the world with these two. So I'm gonna use this little mini one first and go into the shade Snooze. The shade is so nice. It's almost like a really deep gray rather than a black black all the way along the lash line and then lightly smoke out i think this is going to be quite a lot of back and forth building smudging building smudging gonna to worry too much i just want to get the shape on and then also using that brush to create the little inner corner me trying to talk and focus on something is like impossible and just really lightly stamping with this brush a slightly bigger flatter brush same color i'm gonna just start building that wing up but in a soft kind of way and then smaller brush and one of the gray shades just keep going back in and out of the shades redefining bits darkening bits up and i also just keep a soft fluffy brush nearby to just keep blending this whole look is very very soft and diffused so i don't really want anywhere to look too harsh and then also just going back in with that light shade just to get that real pop in the center because that's what gives you that gorgeous like really open eye shape okay i'm just gonna do the same on the other side really quick and then i'm gonna define that line really loving the dark inner corner as well i think i'm gonna accentuate that 
my god my voice i'm so husky i'm so sexy sexy husky voice on my smoky eye okay i'm gonna go on to the underneath i'm gonna start on the lash line now and then we will redefine waterline black i'm gonna use pretty much the same colors but just flip it um i do want this to be quite smoky obviously i'm going to be cleaning up underneath my eye anyway so I can be a little bit messier with this, which is great. God, a smoky eye is just the greatest thing to have ever happened to the world. Like, ever. Last thing, I'm going to take Muse on a really soft brush and just bring that quite far down. I keep forgetting I've actually still got to do my skin. Normally at this point, I'm like almost done. Like, we need to darken this up now. So I'm going to use one of the new pencils from Cossas. This is the Soul Gazer Intensifying Gel Eyeliner in the shade Hypnotize. I haven't used this one before, but I have used the brown, and the formula is really nice. So I'm going to go right along that wing, sharpen her up, and then I'm just going to line my top and bottom waterline with this too. I'm just joining it up with that inner corner. I actually kind of love doing my eyes first. Maybe I should be doing this more. I'm kind of a messy girl, so it does make sense. And then I'm just gonna get a big clean brush and just buff like everything and push it right up into the brow. I kind of don't want like a gap between my brows and my eyeshadow really. It almost gives the illusion of more eyelid space, like the more that you fill it weirdly, it kind of shouldn't make sense, but I just feel like it does. I think I've actually decided I'm not gonna do any silver because I'm kind of loving this really matte look. I swear I'm like so eye bogey prone. Even when I'm literally awake and just doing things like, why am I getting eye bogeys? And then I'm just going to chuck some mascara on and I think the eyes are almost done. These Cossas eye pencils are so, so nice. I actually wore them last night to an event and my makeup literally did not move. I think my problem is I'm so used to getting ready in like 20 minutes. So when I've already spent like half an hour on an eye, I'm like, I'm like, girl, this is slow. I can't believe I was so anti-cool toned for so long. I think I just thought it washed me out and made me look really grey. But it's actually very sexy. Oh, that light pop right at the end of it is just everything. Okay, before I do any mascara, I'm just going to grab a wet wipe and bring that along. Do Americans say wet wipe as well? Because when I said that, that felt really English. Let's put some mascara on and then onto the base. So I have actually got a new mascara. I'm very into. Brand new from Charlotte Tilbury, Exaggerize Volume Mascara. First of all, this packaging feels so luxury. It's really heavy. I think this is actually glass, which is fancy. I used this yesterday. My lashes have honestly never looked so good. I figured out this works really nicely if you like really wiggle it. Push my lashes towards the outer corner just so we get that real cat eye kind of thing. I actually don't want too much lash at this front because I want to be able to see that real brightness there. This is definitely my favourite Charlotte Tilbury mascara ever. The others, like, they're okay. I could take them or leave them. This one is actually very, very special. I have literally just got it all over my eyeshadow. What is the point? What is the point? I actually vividly remember this whenever I used to do, like, wild cut creases and then you'd get mascara on it and it was just like... What's the point of being alive? Okay, I think the eyes are finally done for now. I will probably come back and add some little bits, but I'm gonna move on to skin. I'm saying I'm gonna prime my skin with the iconic Underglow Blurring Primer. Too glowy, not too matte. She kind of does like a soft matte really well. I feel like that's her kind of trademark skin. It's just very soft matte, gorgeous. I need to remember my eye makeup is on and not just go. Now for the base, I don't know if I've even spoken about this product yet on here, but I I'm obsessed with this. I've been using it non-stop. This is the brand new Vive Complexion Balm. Um, I've got the shade 230 and I just think this is going to be perfect for the sort of skin that I want today. I've been wearing this literally every single day since I got it. It is my dream skin in a bottle basically. It's really easy to build up as well. The coverage is just perfect. I actually got a little sample of this to try when I saw Jamie two, three months ago and I just fell in love with it immediately. So as soon as it properly launched... I needed a full size one and yeah, I've been using it literally non-stop since I got it. I do love a grungy eye and like a little bit more of a stripped back kind of undone skin. So I'm going to go for that kind of vibe today. You can see like I'm going to use the one size turn up the base. This is what I use for the base on my eyes. I bought this a couple of days ago in Sephora. I actually bought a couple of bits from one size. Kind of my introduction to the brand. I've seen people talk about them on TikTok, but I've actually never really seen anywhere that stocks them. But they're obviously in Sephora. Which I don't know because I haven't been to one in ages. So I actually bought a few bits from them that I'm going to use. This concealer, I'm honestly in love with that. I used it for the first time yesterday. 
and I can't believe how nice it is. You also only need like the tiniest little bit ever. It's very stretchy. It's a very stretchy formula, which I would say the same for the Vive Complexion Balm. So these two together just like blends into this gorgeousness. Gorgeousness. Shade is a little bit more of like an orangey yellow, which I actually quite like under my eyes. It's a bit more colour correcting. They didn't have loads of shades in there. They didn't have a lot of stock, so I kind of just went for whatever looked close-ish, but I'm definitely going to get another few shades. It almost has like a serum kind of feel to it, and look at that coverage. It's absolutely gorgeous. Might need to just redo that little inner corner bit, but that's okay. It's just perfect, especially for under your eyes. It's like non-drying. Look at that, my skin literally looks like it's been like airbrushed. It's so beautiful. That is like my new favorite skin combination, those two products together. Use the Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Essentials Palette to shove my nail in it. And I'm gonna use this bottom quite warm shade just as a sort of contoury bronzy. Warm the skin up a little bit before we set everything in place. I bloody love this palette. I kind of forgot I had it and then I found it in my makeup drawer yesterday. Makeup Forever really did something with this one. I don't really like to do too much of like a harsh contour. I just want a little bit of warmth. I'm just gonna bring a little bit along my jaw as well. I'm gonna take the one size setting powder. This is the translucent. I actually went to the counter with the full size one of this and then I saw the little mini one as I was leaving in the mini section, which may I add is the greatest thing on earth. I buy so much in the mini section at Sephora, but I actually thought this was a really good way to try it. And also I don't have a little powder for traveling. All of mine are quite big. So I actually thought this would be quite handy. I'm just going to use the flat side of my sponge and then just pat that underneath my eyes. I do like to use products that I feel like are supposed to go together where I can. So like an under eye concealer and a setting powder, I feel like if they're from the same brand, they should work really well together. And these two really do seem to just kind of marry into each other just perfectly. This looks perfect. This is not the most flattering light either, may I add. I actually filmed just in front of a window. I don't have any fancy lighting on that makes your skin look better than it is. This is what we're working with, and that looks pretty damn good, I would say. I'm gonna press between my brows as well, just anywhere that I get a little bit oilier. I'm gonna take a little bit, a little bit on a soft brush and just buff that over the rest of my face. I do want the skin to be quite matte. I think that's very Kylie, sort of a very soft matte base. Now, going on to blush, I feel like I've done my makeup in the weirdest order today, this feels so strange, but I'm actually going to use one from Kylie as well. This is the shade Baddie on the Block. Baddie on the Block. It's just a really gorgeous peachy, quite pink as well. I do associate like kind of pink with Kylie. I'm going to do a slightly pinker lip as well. I think she always has this real like pretty feminineness about her, even when she does like a real smoky eye, and I just love that. I love the juxtaposition of like really feminine, really sweet, pretty makeup, but then she'll just like pull most sickening smoky eye ever, which I love. It's one of those colors it works with every single look, like you can do it with something really grungy and it just works perfectly. It also looks really nice with like a really fresh bronzy look. It's a very universal blush shade. Okay, for lips, like I say, I think she always has a little bit more of a pinker lip than I would do. So I'm actually gonna try that today. I think I may hate it, but I'm gonna give it a go. So this lip liner from Hourglass, this is the shade Tempt 3. I adore these lip liners, but I've never used this shade before. So I have got a brown liner back up in case we need to just like darken up a little bit, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's still quite a nudie pink, so. Oh, actually I forgot, that was something I was gonna show you. <laughs> Wait there. I remembered that at the very crucial minute. Um, these are new from Refi, so I'm actually gonna use one of these. These are the Blur lip liners. Um, this is the shade Opal. And when I first got these, I was a little bit like, what? Like, what does it do? But let me get rid of that bit. If you like the most subtle, blown out lip liner, it almost gives, like, looks like you've had filler. Almost like a pre-lip liner contour. Like, it's one of those things, it's such a subtle difference, but I think it actually does make a big difference. I think I was a little bit freaked by it because I'm a very, like, defined lip liner girl, so I probably wouldn't just wear this like as blown out as that on its own. But it does give you that almost like pillowy faux lip filler kind of plumpness. And then I'm gonna go on and layer a liner on top of it. And I'm thinking it should give me more of like a full kind of pout. So let's give that a go. Go back with the hourglass liner now and just define. Adding that first step in just sort of softens everything. Like nothing looks too harsh. 
and it just makes your lips look massive without having to really overline them harshly. Look at that, my lips look like eight times the size that they normally do. I am gonna deepen up a little bit. This is the Lancome lip liner in the shade Mahogany Mauve, just to get a little bit more of a line going on. I do think Refai is really good at giving you products that you didn't necessarily know that you needed. Um, they're always something a little bit different. It's something I haven't really seen before. I thought I didn't need it. I thought I wouldn't wear it, but I actually love it so much. It's such a little difference, but I feel like it changes your whole face so much. Um, I'm just going to finish off with a bit of the Kylie Lip and Cheek Blush Tint in the shade Pretty and Neutral. A little bit of moisture. Okay, I think that is a very King Kylie lip. I think I might have nailed the lip there. Finishing step, I'm going to use the One Size Setting Spray. This is the On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I believe this is what the synchronized swimming girlies were using in the Olympics. If it's good enough for them to do a 10 minute underwater routine, it's probably good enough for me to leave the house. So, so I'm just gonna spray this all over. Definitely keep your eyes and mouth shut because it does just smell like hairspray. I am unfortunately of the hairspray setting spray generation. So it almost like makes me wanna do water sports. I have absolutely no desire to do any water sports, but when it says waterproof, I'm like, Prove it. Okay, let's take the hair out. I actually think she kind of has like one bit down, doesn't she? Maybe I'll do a little, yeah, that looks cute. I feel like that just completes the vibes. It's always the unexpected ones. Like I actually had no idea what to film today and then I just saw that picture of her and I was like, that's it. It's giving Stormy, you look like mommy baby. I've got this one little sticky up bit of eyebrow and no matter what I do with it, it just will not. She can't be tamed. And there we go. That is the finished makeup look for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being here as always. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you are, and I will see you all very soon. Love you.